Hey everybody, Tech Coach Wattis here. Um, right now we're going to take a look here in this video about how to deploy thin slides uh, using uh, Google Classroom as your platform. And what this does, it uh, helps mitigate the, um, the issues when using a shared slide deck when kids can either on purpose or by accident mess up other um, their their classmates' slides. So th thin slides can help uh, prevent that issue uh, from occurring. So you'll start here by going to Classwork. Click on the Create button. We're going to choose Assignment. Or go ahead and let's say you, know, you may want to for the first time you may want to do something very lightweight something like favorite foods is a good one place to start so favorite food thin slides all right and then what we're going to go right here we're going to click on the create button we're going to choose slides all right so what i'm going to do here once this loads up i'm going to go to layout I always use the title only so the kids can then type their their word up here and they have all the blank space here to paste their picture. Um, <clears throat> so right here I'm going to go ahead and title the slides here, Favorite Foods Thin Slides. There we go. Alright, once that saves right there then I can close this down here and very important right here, right here it says, we have to change the permissions where it says uh, students can view file. I'm going to click there, click make a copy for each student. And set your point value. And I was in the classroom, I always made this 10 points. Set your due date. This is usually one that's always due that the day of. So that's totally up to you. And then the topic, completely totally up to you. However, you you organize your classroom, um, you can uh, select uh, choose a topic that fits uh, your organization style. So once this is all set, I'm going to go ahead and click assign. All right. So fast forward, the kids have all finish their slides and they're ready to present. Again, they don't have to click turn in with it within slides. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to open up the student work right here. It takes a second for it to, to catch up. And what I'm going to do here, uh, I like to do sort by first name. And then what we'll do here is we'll click on the first student's name and it pulls up their slides. And then you can use this button here to cycle through and and go through and look at all the different students as all the different students work um, as you go through um, so very quickly and and easily that way this keeps the students off of using each other uh, accidentally or on purpose uh, messing with each other's slides so if you have any questions about this process uh, reach out to me at any time and I will uh, do my best to support you in any way that I can